Eight Treasure Porridge or Kanji is a sweet soup or sweet porridge that is super delicious but can be a little bit confusing as to what is the eight treasures in this porridge. I'm going to show you a super easy way of making this porridge very simplified. This is a tip that my mom showed me and it will just save you the headache of deciding what to put into the soup. Subscribe for more lazy recipes from me. When I asked my mom what do I put into this porridge and she literally said use whatever we have in the kitchen. It was not very helpful. She kept on adding more and more ingredients. It was not just eight ingredients. So I've broken it down to four main ingredients. One is grains, dried fruit, beans, and raw nuts. You can use whatever you have in the kitchen, but these ingredients that I have listed on this image is what a lot of people like to use. It's more popular. And I also listed three of my favorite additional ingredients that I didn't know how to categorize, but I thought they add to the flavor and texture of the kanji. I'll show you how to prep those. They require a little bit of soaking. Everything else you can just measure, wash, and throw them into the slow cooker. So once you've decided what you're going to put into your soup, just take a Chinese soup spoon or a tablespoon and measure two tablespoons or two soup spoons of the ingredients you'll want. I didn't have to wash the oatmeal, so I just directly poured them into the mix. To give the slow cooker a head start, I like to add pre-boiled water. You want to add approximately two cups to two and a half cups of dried ingredients into the mix. It depends on how thick you want the porridge. If you want thicker porridge, you'll probably want to add more grains. And if you want a lighter porridge, you put less ingredients and more water. Snow ear or white fungus will swell up more than double size, so don't add too much. I love how it gives the soup a chewy, um, jelly kind of texture. My second favorite to add to this porridge is the aged or dried tangerine peel. Apparently the older it is the better it is for your health but yeah I, I, but I just like it for its flavor. It goes really well with the beans like red beans and green beans. Another favorite are lotus seeds. They have a nice nutty flavor and will not disintegrate even after a long time of cooking. Unfortunately, I forgot to soak them overnight and they still have a tougher texture than the rest of the beans. So I do recommend soaking them overnight before putting them into the mix. I can smell a sweet fragrance right now. It's about 12.30. The next day so I'm gonna this is the first time I'm opening it you can see everything we've got some peanuts goji berries and red dates and the uh, snow ear that's floating on top Give it a stir. It's nice and thick, but not too thick. Looks really good. This porridge can be savory or sweet. Today we're making it sweet. You can use brown sugar, black sugar, or rock sugar. Today we're using these black sugar blocks. We're using three blocks of sugar. So it depends on your own taste. You can, you know, flavor it to whatever you like. I have so much stuff in here, I don't even remember what I put in. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. 
This is the wood ear or, or the snow ear. It's cooked into a big piece. It was really small when I put it in. I know there's glutinous rice. Um, yeah, there's just so many things. This porridge is so easy your kids could make it. I love making this dish for like dessert day or a super lazy day or a really cold chilly day. It's nice to sit around the couch with a bowl of this. It's so good. Let me know below in the comments if you like these type of videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.